morning guys hi again welcome back today i'm gonna do a little solo date day the perfect autumn winter solo date day it's been a minute since i've done a solo date day and i do have plans later on in the evening in cambridge so i thought might as well make a day out of it spend some time alone and just enjoy the day it is a wednesday so i did have to do a bit of work in the morning so it's almost 11 a.m yeah i'm just gonna finish doing my makeup and then i'll decide what to wear before leaving but i kind of want to just go for a nice preppy vibe you know the vibes now that it's autumn i'm really in my element with the layering i just love being able to wear just like a nice pair of black jeans sweatshirt blazer maybe a cheeky trench coat on top as well we'll see how the weather is um hey siri what's the weather like today in cambridge 12 degrees mostly cloudy moderate fog warning not too bad i'll definitely take the coat but my plans later on in the evening are to go to cambridge film festival if kaylee arrives in cambridge on time we'll like go for dinner and go to the cinema but if not we'll probably just end up going to the cinema but i personally want to check out a bunch of the museums i've been to a couple of them before but i've never been to the fitzwilliam museum which i think is an art museum so i really want to go there completely free there's the history museum there's a science museum there's so many museums <laughs> you guys know me you guys know what i love to do museum cafe hop walk around perfect day especially when the months are getting colder and you don't really want to spend too much time outside i feel like museum days cinema days gallery days those are just the best so very excited also i moved my bed into the corner of my bedroom and i'm really enjoying it here only issue is it's blocking my wardrobe which i obviously need so i feel like one of these days i'm gonna do a full bedroom makeover not that there's much to make over because i've genuinely made zero progress but are you liking my autumn sheets they're like a ball orangey pumpkin color i just thought it was quite fitting for the month of october and november i'm gonna finish doing my makeup we'll pick an outfit and then we'll get driving i was texting an nfl player from her phone all right what there's been thousands of nfl players i was afraid of crossing guards oh well they're scary old women most of the time yeah i didn't know it was terrifying i'd be afraid of them too still am yeah i know yeah. Okay, this is the fit we're going with. Very simple. You know the vibes. This blazer is probably one of my best thrift finds. Cheeky sweater vest, very collegiate varsity vibes. And then just some black jeans. This whole thing is thrifted actually, apart from the sweater vest. Also my coat, thrifted. Oh, I just love days like this. I'm so excited. I'm gonna pack a tote. One thing I definitely know I need to buy is lip gloss because I had this staple lip gloss, right? I'm gonna take my book as well. Yes, I'm still reading this book. <laughs> I had a staple lip gloss and I don't know where it went it was running out anyway but um i want to try find like a really good quality lip gloss in like boots or super drug or something because the one that i had before i would have to order it online and it's just a whole thing and i don't know if anyone else is like this but i can never go on a car journey without a snack like i just ate recently but i can't exist in a car without a snack i'll take my water bottle with me as well keep this in the car for the journey there and the journey back let's get going <laughs> traffic um i think there's been an accident so really hoping that no one's hurt or injured but it's looking like a bit of a standstill but so fine priority is that everyone is safe one of my biggest joys in life is literally just sitting in the car listening to music with the windows down obviously when the weather is not great you can't put the windows down but even just like being able to be outside in the sun listen to a good playlist it's just so it's such euphoria spotify has a really good playlist at the moment called daylist and they update it like three or four times a day really good stuff like it will be a bunch of songs that you know and love a bunch of songs that you don't know and just like a random mix like recommendations it's like a mixture of the discover weekly the on repeat and your time capsule in one it's called daylist so 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 good so um that's what i've been listening to i'm really excited to do more like music recommendation videos it's been such a long time and i started like a mini series on instagram but obviously i only get like one and a half minutes for a reel so i can only share like four or five songs so i'm looking forward to doing more like video essay song recommendation type of things maybe we pick a theme so i have an idea to do one where i go through my favorite songs with saxophone solos i want to do one about like movie sound tracks there's just so many there's so many so i need to figure out how i want to be doing this like whether i still upload once a week whether i slip these in as like midweek videos we'll see if i can like make the time to jiggle things around and like 
put out more videos like that because I don't want the vlogs to stop. The vlogs have to continue. This is how we catch up, you know? But yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue listening to some of this music whilst we wait for the traffic. I'm only like 35 minutes away now. But yeah, we'll catch up when we're in Cambridge. <laughs> Okay, I've arrived. It's genuinely way past lunchtime now. It's like 1.25. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sit down somewhere. I really just wanna, you know, get into my museum hunt. I might just pick up something quick on the way and head straight to the Fitzwilliam Museum. That's like the number one, one that I wanna see because I'm assuming Kaylee is gonna meet me around like between like four and five. Let's get going. called Black Atlantic and honestly one of the best like exhibitions I've ever been to. I say this every time I go to a museum but it was basically about the transatlantic slave trade and the different ways blackness is represented in art, in Europe, in fashion and there's just there's so much there. There was so much. I've never seen so many like hard truths um, in an exhibition ever. I feel like a lot of the exhibitions I've been to that speak about slavery or just blackness um, kind of dance and tiptoe around the real history and this one felt like so painfully accurate. I was learning things for the first time as well and um, I just recently watched the movie Killers of the Flower Moon which is the new Martin Scorsese film and was basically talking about how the Osage nation had all their land colonized and stolen because they had oil there. It's just wild to think that all of these communities and all of these countries that were colonized in the past had were just so wealthy, so rich, had their own cultures and everything and it was just stolen. But yeah, great museum. I'm gonna check out the archaeology one maybe. It's like almost 3 p.m. So yeah, very, very glad that I went to this one first. J'aime sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz. Ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça me fait quelque chose. Oh, pas tellement. La, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps. Sedgwick and the archaeology museum. They're both very tiny. It's good that they're free. Probably nothing I would like go back and visit, but still interesting. If you're into archaeology, definitely visit. And the same for um, like fossils. The only thing that was playing in my mind, that whole museum, the fossils one, was that episode of Phineas and Verb where the dad had like some tape and was talking about fossils the whole time. I need to insert the clip or something. Fossils. Da, da, da. Yeah, I really want to get like a warm drink and then walk around, go see the river and all of that stuff. So that's the plan for now. I've got like maybe an hour until Kaylee arrives and then we'll get dinner, go to the cinema and stuff. So yeah, so far so good. I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. She doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine. 
laughing. I take the <laughs> Yeah, that's really nice. Six o'clock, we're heading to the cinema now. We just finished at Frank Manka. Very good stuff, as usual. This is part of um, Cambridge Film Festival. So, yeah, but it's at the Picture House. We love Picture House. Um, but yeah. <laughs> guys back home now it's the next morning but the Cambridge Film Festival was so cool unfortunately we were only there for the second to last day so by the time this video goes out the film festival will be over but the Cambridge Arts Picture House is such a nice picture house we really do love the picture house branches and the film we saw was Horde I love just seeing new original unique films it feels like we get a lot of remakes and reboots which obviously we love otherwise they wouldn't be making them but it is really refreshing to just see a completely new story and just have your mind really occupied in such a different way whilst watching a film so yeah thoroughly enjoyed that hope you guys enjoyed this vlog though thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy definitely make sure you like comment subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos give me a film recommendation in the comments though i would love to do a video where i like watch a bunch of your recommendations or something but um yeah hope you all have a great week ahead i'm gonna go now but i'll see you next time so bye